Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jay Paradise, and like most of you, I'm trying my best to stay indoors. So one of the things I did while in self-quarantine was cleaning my action figure collection, and I realized that it's grown to a sizable amount. So I thought, you know, maybe to pass the time, why not make video reviews about each one? So to start off, here we are with the Pier 39 Bruce Lee action figure. There are multiple variations of this Bruce Lee figure. I saw one with nunchucks, one doing the sidekick, one doing the famous one-inch punch. This particular figure does Bruce Lee's famous high kick. You know, for an $8 figure, there's many things that it gets right. You can see closely the uh, musculature on Lee is actually very well sculpted. I think it captures the um, physique of Bruce Lee himself very well. I think the um, wrinkles are on his pants are really good design too. And I also love how like each of the muscles um, seem to be concentrated into this single high kick. I'm also a big fan of his facial sculpture. I think it captures one of Lee's iconic expressions really well. You can see the eyes and the eyebrows. Yeah, again, I really, really like the facial expression done on this figure. I think that it's um, skillfully made. As for the figure stand, it's fairly standard. Um, what you can do is you can turn around like this. You can um, extend the claws up to here and clamp it down like that. Um, you can t rotate it around like this. Now, to be fair, the stand is pretty breakable. And also it can go up and down like this. Now, for the many benefits in this figure, there are some drawbacks. For example, due to the lack of joints, there is a limited posability. Posing the figure itself can also prove to be a challenge because um, what you gotta do is have Bruce uh, lean on the backside a little. Um, if you can see there, like he has to um, lean on the pole in order to uh, do his standard pose. If you can see right here in the backside, there's a bit of uh, pain chipping going on one now, which honestly I kind of expected. And if you look a little closer, there's a couple like uh, lines here that aren't really as subtle. But in my opinion, I think this is still an awesome figure. You know, I'm already psyched um, enough that I have a Bruce Lee figure as I've never had one before. And having like a physical manifestation of uh, an integral part of my childhood really, really means a lot to me. So if you can see here, counting his stand at the bottom, Bruce Lee stands about four inches tall. Here he is next to similarly sized 2012 Raphael, reissue of G1 Optimus Prime, and a Creeper. Overall, I rate this figure about a three out of five. There's many good qualities about this figure, though it does have some glaring drawbacks. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Jay Paradise signing off with one of my favorite Bruce Lee quotes. Said, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend.